Hey guys, the Bowden from First Strike Athletics. Today we're going to be doing some low kick counters for the punches. Well, uh, for a lot of students, especially when they're a little bit newer to sparring or like in competitions, They'll have an opponent coming up on them and start hitting them, throwing punches, and they start to cover up, and they don't really know what to do. They go to open up with a punch of their own, throw like a head shot, and they get caught on the way in. So they open up, they get caught. So then they get gun shy, and then they get gun shy, then they cover up, and they just start going back, and that's gonna be like kind of a recipe for, for failure. So what we're gonna do with this drill is we're gonna keep our hands up nice and high, we're gonna keep our chins tucked, we're gonna keep our eyes on our opponent, I'm gonna be looking right down the middle, I'm gonna keep my guard up, and as he throws punches, I'm gonna counter him with low kicks. This keeps my head and my body safe, and it's gonna help disrupt his rhythm so he can't keep attacking me. We'll do it with just a basic drill for the low kicks, we'll do it with low kicks and some footwork, and then some uh, follow-up punches at the end. So the drill works like this. We're gonna go through combinations one through four. Chris is gonna throw a jab, and as he throws a jab, I'm gonna be blocking it. As I block it, I'm gonna throw a low kick at the same time. So as he throws a jab, I'm gonna block, and give his leg a kick. As he throws one, two, I'm gonna kick on the same side. So if he's throwing his right arm, I'm gonna throw my left leg on the inside. The reason being is he throws the one, two, his weight's usually gonna be heavy on his leg, and his knee's gonna be pointed out, so it's a lot easier to bump him off balance. Some people like to go the opposite way with one, two, and infants. They'll go here and kick that way. That's not wrong, but a lot of people like it that way. Uh, I just prefer doing it the other way. You should definitely try both with, with these techniques, because you're gonna find one works better for you than the other. So the whole drill is one, a little kick, one, two, inside kick, one, two, three, little kick, and then one, two, three, four, ball, ball, and another inside kick. If you watch Bazooka Joe Valini, he does this one a lot, especially off the jab, he'll block and just low kick right away. Uh, something to keep note of is with the one, two, three, is go nice and slow, please, the jab cross up. As that hook's coming, I'm gonna be rolling with the punch as I throw my kick. Be careful not to roll and leave your chin and your jaw exposed. You gotta keep that chin down with hands up high, so if you're here and you throw the hook, you're not gonna get caught around your guard. Keep that guard back, don't have your hands up too far, okay? So again, the whole drill by itself is jab, Low kick, one, two. Low kick, three. You can reach out a little bit with that arm if I need to. And four. Now you can see with these kicks, I'm not really going for damage. I'm going more to get him off balance. Again, the whole purpose of this drill is to keep him from unloading punches on him. So I'm stuck in the corner, I have nowhere to go, I can't clinch, I can't throw knees because maybe it's a kickboxing rules fight. You're not allowed to throw knees in the novice kickboxing. My low kicks are my best option. So from here, the kick by itself is okay, but we want to be able to kind of capitalize on that uh, momentum shift. So as he throws his jab, and I throw my low kick, instead of just staying right here, he's just going to throw another punch at me, especially if I don't get him off balance. I need to use some footwork. So as he throws his jab, I'm going to kick, and I'm going to move off to the side. Okay, so if I finish with my right kick, I'll move to my right. If he throws the one, two, I throw my left kick, and I come back. Now I'm not going to go from here and just drop down, because again, I'm right in punching range. I'm gonna kick his left, his leg, and bring my left foot back behind me a bit. Then from there, hit it off. To create some space, okay? So one, two, I'll kick and come back a little bit to get away from the follow-up hook. Three is the same idea. Low kick off my right, and four, inside kick back to my left. Again, it depends on where you are in the ring, where the ropes are, all that type of stuff, but those are your basic directions. Now from there, instead of throwing uh, a kick and then following the footwork, I'm gonna follow up with a punch. So again, he throws the jab, I throw my right low kick, I'm gonna follow up with a left jab of my own or a left hook of my own. Especially if I can get him off balance, I wanna capitalize on that. So he throws his jab, I kick and I throw a punch. This stops him from throwing a punch back at me. Throws the one, two, get him off balance, throw a cross. It might not land, but it gets the momentum back on my side and gets him going, uh, shifting away from me, getting him more defensive in his posture. Three, same idea. Boom, knock the hook. And four. Boom, boom. Another way to think about this is if he finishes with his right hand, you finish with your right hand. So, the whole drill without footwork, just the kicks themselves. Jab. Two. Three. Four. Oh, four. <laughs> four. Good. Now we'll do it with some footwork. Jab. Off to the side, two, back into the side, three, and four. And now we punches.
<laughs> so there's a straight punch in the hooks for now, okay there? Uppercuts are not, also not going to do one, two, please. I'm going to go kick, kick here into an uppercut, hook to the body, lots of different possibilities. Straight punch would be useful to remember for this drill. Yeah, no, thanks. Nice. All right, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click the icon to the left. If you want to watch another video, click on the right. And give me a like and share this if you like it and you want to share it.